I made this graphical user interface app that can be used as an app splash screen, welcome window, or anything you like. So let's preview how it looks against the different desktop backgrounds. I love how this UI contrasts with different colors. I will explain later how it works, then give you the source code link. So continue watching. Hello my name is Hamisi, and you're watching Spin TV. If you're new to the channel, feel welcome, and don't forget to subscribe for more contents like this. Also, leave a like and a comment to help in making this video reach more people. I built this app using Python, PyQt, PySide, and Qt Designer app, so if you are a beginner, please start by watching the first videos in this playlist. We are not going to build this app from scratch, but I'm going to explain some important parts. These two round progress bars are based on Wonderson's video which I will link below. I added a custom font to the user interface, you'll get to see how it's done once you download the source code. I also added some CSS styling to the UI to bring out this overall look. In this example, I tried to add a video widget instead of using image slides. But I noticed that the progress bars were not animating, so I decided to go with image slides. I will also add this source code which you can download and play around with it and see if it works. If I remove the video widget the progress bars start animating, but if I return it, the progress bars don't animate. I believe there is a way of solving this, but I haven't figured it out yet, so leave a comment if you know the solution. In this final example, I added Q timer functions that change after images every 3 seconds. I also added two functions that fade the images by using their opacity values. The progress bar's value is updated by a while loop that runs on a separate thread using QThread. I made this to simulate a background task that can run separately without freezing the app interface. This is a good practice for apps that retrieve data from an online database, or apps that run complex tasks in the background. Ok guys, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments section below, if I should make a full tutorial on this app. I hope this video was helpful to you. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters who are making it possible for me to dedicate more time now to make these videos. Thank you for watching.